Meghan Markle's decision to step back from public appearances in the first half of the year, before making her gradual return to the spotlight over the past few months, was a deliberate tactic, according to a royal expert. The Duchess of Sussex was notoriously absent from events such as the King's coronation in May, and generally kept a low profile aside from a trip to an awards ceremony in New York in May. However, she has recently been out and about more and more, joining her husband Prince Harry in Germany for the Invictus Games last month and hosting their first ever in-person Archwell Foundation Summit for World Mental Health Day. Her signing with talent agency William Morris Endeavour in April and her rumoured return to social media all point to a calculated comeback, Emily Andrews has claimed. She told Woman magazine, It was no accident that over the summer, we saw rather more of Meghan than for all of the past year. Click here to join our WhatsApp community to be the first to receive news about the royal family she has decided she wants to live her life much more openly and the relaunch by her new Hollywood power broker agency William Morris Endeavour, WME, was started with a series of August photographs and reports to maximize plans for a new money-making venture. Ms. Andrews added that Meghan's sudden willingness to be photographed in public, even when not at large events, indicates that the Duchess knows her commercial value. Meghan has been pictured out and about in Montecito recently, taking a trip to the farmer's market and going to the cinema to watch Barbie with several of her girlfriends for her 42nd birthday in August. The royal expert suggested that the Duchess is looking to shift her focus to enterprise efforts, rather than resuming her acting career. Some have speculated that Meghan may be looking to launch a lifestyle brand similarly to Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop, possibly a revival and expansion of her now-defunct blog The Tig. Harry and Meghan are also likely to be producing new content with Netflix, as they are still contractually obliged to work with the streaming platform until at least 2025. Earlier this summer, the Sussexes were dropped from the deal with Spotify after just one series of Meghan's podcast archetypes. However, they are now rumoured to be in talks with audio platform rival Audible, with the possibility of new podcasting series on the horizon. Although Meghan may be happily relaunching her career in California, Harry is said to be considering spending more time in the UK.